Hey guys, we're going to talk about this new artist. His name is Kandinsky, and he did a color study. This is the painting that we're going to be working on or, or uh, patterning our artwork after this time. Um, let me tell you what happens. This guy, uh, and, for, and, and you know, a lot of artists, they don't just start out and just color and draw and put things together and it looks beautiful every time. No, no, no. That doesn't happen all the time. There is a certain amount of talent involved where that happens, you know, sometimes. But most of the time what happens is uh, artists practice. They try things out. It's more of a trial and error. Something happens and it works great, but something happens and it doesn't work. Darn, at least we learned something from it and we can move on. You know what I mean? So this is kind of what was going on here. This is a, called the color study. And each one of these squares, he picked a different set of color combinations. And he wanted to see how they looked together. Okay? So this is, well, more just like a practice type of thing. Each square he used individually. It cre treated as a as a different piece, and he decided that he wanted to try and see what these different colors look like together. Okay, now some squares work really well, and some squares you know he may not have liked so well. But now at least he know for the next time when he decides to paint something or do something that's really extraordinary, he can go back to the, his color study and say, "Hey, I remember this square right here." had some really cool color combinations in it. So I want to use these colors in this next painting. So that's kind of what this is about, you know. I did the same thing. Those of you who came for um, our reading night, we had a literacy night. You probably heard the rap that I did. Oh boy, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> but y'all thought it was cool, so I did it anyway. Anyway, what I wanted to do was make bookmarks. And we use markers to make bookmarks, right? Well, look at those color combinations. How cool is that? I knew I wanted to put a P on it, and I knew I wanted some really funky colors in a pattern, but I didn't know which colors I wanted to use. So I practiced and practiced, and this is one of my practice bookmarks. I put these colors on there in a pattern to see how they would look together, and I liked it. I liked it so much that I decided these would be the same colors that I would use for my P bookmark. Got it? So, I mean, it happens. You can use this. That way I knew that I wouldn't mess up my bookmark because I knew that the colors um, worked well together. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a condensed ski type of color study. Of course, we're using oil pastels. You're going to have a uh, rather long sheet of paper. First, we're going to fold it like a hot dog. No, this is like a hamburger. We're going to fold it like a hamburger. And actually we're going to fold it like this several times. We're going to fold that's one fold like a hamburger. Now this is going to be another fold like a hamburger. And then we're going to do a another fold like a hamburger. Now we're folding it so many times so that we can get the squares that Mr. Kandinsky did. We don't have to draw those. We're folding it so that we'll be able to open it and each crease is going to be a different square. So each one of these squares is going to be another color combination. Okay. Now, we don't need one sheet of paper. I can move that out the way now. All right. Each one will be another color combination. All right. Now we're going to get our oil pastels. Yeah. That doesn't look like the other one, does it? This is what happens when you don't take care of your oil pastels. You get crumbs, people. So please, take care of your oil pastels. Take care of your equipment. You must do that. I have another one to show you. This, this, this is not, you know, look at that. Look at that. That's horrible, isn't it? Please take care of your oil pastels, people. Please. Thank you. All right. Now that we have our squares, we have our oil pastel crumbs, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and, and get started here. But first, let's turn over on the back and write our names in one of these squares. We have to write our names in the squares, okay? At least in one of them. All right? There it is. Now, we're going to do one square at a time. And if you want to, you can fold it down. 
so you can just see one square at a time. Pick yourself maybe three colors, three different colors that you think might look good together and try it out. I'm going to do a blue and maybe a purple and maybe a green. Yeah, three colors. And then I'm going to put the blue circle in the middle like so. Okay. All right, that's good enough. Then I'm gonna start with the green, put a green ring around it, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna color that in. And this should, it's not something that should take a very long time to do. Each square should probably take more, about a minute or so. Once you choose your three colors, each square shouldn't take that long at all. See, I'm finished with that that quick. All right, and then the other one was purple. So I'm gonna go around and do a ring of purple. Do the rings have to be a perfect circle? Nah, it really doesn't have to be a perfect circle because all we really wanna see is how these colors look good together. If, they, if you like the combination, then you remember that for the next time you want to create a piece. If you don't like the combination, don't use it. <laughs> it's just that simple, you know? All right. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And then since we ran out, I guess we go back to the blue and get along the edges. We can't really go ahead and make another circle, but we can go along the edges like so. Let's way around, all the way around, all the way around. And see that way we have completely covered in this particular uh, square, okay? And that's pretty much it. That one's done. Now, you can open it up. And we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to do. So it's eight squares in all. So this will probably be the next one. You'll probably wanna just fold that down. So that'll be the one that's showing and then you pick three more colors that can be different color they really need to be different colors pick three more different colors and you do it again I have one that I almost finished here here's one I got one more square to do on this one and then this one will be done so you'll probably see this one completed over there on the <laughs> Promethean board on the Elmo side okay so that's what we're doing today and I want you guys to go and have you know that I can read, baby. Oh, yeah, I can read, baby. You know that I can read, baby. All right, stop. Open your ears and listen. It's time to read, so pay close attention. Stories grab the hold of me tightly as I read daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? I don't think so. Pick up a book and let it flow, cause I can read, baby. Do, 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 do. You know that I can read, baby.